Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, I'm going to look at Derwent Extra Large Charcoal. Now, um, I'm on summer break. I've been picking up different art supplies and playing with different things. I just uh, simply can't watercolor for eight hours straight. I think that um, I would lose my mind and I would probably, uh, from there, be turned off to watercolor. So I've been using this time to pick up uh, different art mediums, experiment with different things, and even go outside of landscape painting and playing with um, portraits. So, that being said, I have a sheet of the toned um, Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby uh, paper. I'm not sure if it's a mixed media or just a sketching paper, but it seems to hold up really well, so I've just been playing on top of that. These guys, it comes with a set of six. They are all light fast. I think they're light fast rating eight on a scale from one to eight on uh, Darwin's website. So that was a big uh, plus, the fact that that information is out there and that they're rated so highly. I always find that for me personally, that's really important with art supplies. I got this off of Jerry's Artorama for about $25. Bullock has it for 25 as well, and then everywhere else starts going up in price. I've seen, let's say, Amazon 35, give or take, and I've seen the MSRP at um, 50. So the lowest you'll be able to find this is uh, Jerry's Artorama or uh, Blick, and I think um, Blick is out of stock. Okay, so. In college, in my life drawing and painting classes, things like that, we would use the charcoal in one hand and we would have the eraser in the other and we'd spend hours going back and forth, um, drawing in, creating our texture and using the eraser to go back. So I wanted something big where I can kind of put in big swatches and have a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna mark these out just so you could see the line width and how it works and some of the mark making you can do with it. I would think this would be the straight black. Then we'll go right into white right underneath. And what I'll do is I'll pass on top of them. I'll play around with the erasure, like erasure act rather than the eraser. Uh, this, I'm not sure the names of the colors. Um, this is looking on the brown or gray side of things. This is kind of like a, a little bit warmer. This is maybe like kind of a uh, raw umber and this one is a warmer aspect. We have what looks like to be our red ochre our sanguine and this is probably our yellow ochre right here so a lot of the earth tones etc uh, erasing wise I found that this paper really holds up well to erasing and I'm looking forward to Playing around, I'm thinking I'm gonna look at some landscape paintings actually with this, uh, being able to put these big swatches in and just playing around. I have some Stonehenge Aqua tinted paper and I ordered some Canson tinted paper as well. Uh, electric eraser, I picked up off of Amazon and it works just so great. I was talking about this in my last video. For $8, I would buy one of these all day. For $20, I'd buy one all day. It just makes things so easy. And this paper really holds up to it, so I'm curious to see what other papers, um, how it will act. Now I'm gonna pass my white on top of some of these guys just to see the layering. Looks 
great. So that will be a lot of fun. And I'm curious if we can kind of get a green by taking these two and blending them together. I believe in the Zorn palette, you would have your black and a yellow ochre to mix together to get the illusion of green. And then from there, the Zorn palette, your black and your white, that's kind of a mellowed out blue. And I'm sure paper plays a part, so I'm gonna do a lot of experimenting with that. It's been about, I think it was 2011 was when I had taken my last life drawing and um, painting class, 2011, 2012. So it has been quite some time. So this will be a 10, 11, 12 years later, diving back into the medium. So uh, if you have this set, let me know uh, what you think about it. If you have some of the other Jarwin stuff, let me know what you think about it. Um, I believe I have some watercolor pencils from them and I'll eventually play around with that. Um, hopefully I don't spend all my paycheck on art supplies this summer, just uh, playing around. <laughs> so if you wanna support this channel and the experiments, um, I do have the Patreon and other ways to support down below. I'm gonna be back soon with a actual drawing and artwork with these. And I will probably experiment a lot more with the different types of erasers on top, as well as the different papers. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, comments, let me know down below. Y'all take care and have a great day.